good morning uh, very warm welcome to all of you now already we have completed the half poem of nine gold medals now you have learned that nine participants with special abilities they participated in the 100 yard dash race and uh, the smallest among them he hit his foot against something and lost his balance and fell on the ground so now let's see what happened next so if you were in uh, one of the participant in that race what would you do we all would let him fall and boom i have isn't it so what happened here let's see he gave out a cry in frustration and anguish his dreams and his efforts all dashed in the dirt but as sure as i am standing here telling this story the same goes for what next occurred now he gave out a cry in frustration and anguish now what is anguish anguish means pain and disappointment his dreams and his efforts all dashed in the dirt dashed means destroyed this athlete was differently abled athlete uh, he had been going through rigorous training for months to participate in the event and to achieve the medal but at the beginning itself he fell down imagine if you participate in some of the games and at the beginning you fall what happens you will get frustrated isn't it so similarly this athlete who was frustrated uh, he was very much disappointed now he thought that that was the end his dreams and his efforts all dashed in the dirt so the moment he fell down uh, he knew that all his dreams have been destroyed in the dust he lost all his hopes so all his dreams his hopes his uh, hard work his efforts all were destroyed in the dust his pain his disappointment made him give out a cry so put yourself into his position and imagine how he must have felt when he fell down just at the beginning of the race but as sure as i am standing here telling this story the same goes for what next occurred but it did not end here what happened next was something very different very unique it was something strange so let's see what happened the eight other runners pulled up on their heels the ones who had trained for so long to compete one by one they all turned around and went back to help him and brought the young boy to his feet now what strange thing happened the another eight athletes who participated in the race they stopped on their track these all participants though they had trained hard for so long to win the medal they did not run ahead they stopped there if we would have been at his, their place we would have run ahead because everyone wants to uh, win the medal right olympics is such a important thing 
so everyone wants uh, medals in olympics right but here all these eight runners the eight athletes they stopped there even though they had a hard training for so long it means they had empathy towards those smallest athlete who had fallen down they could understand his pain they could feel his pain so this is what is called an empathy the fall of one athlete changed the mind of all the other eight athletes one by one they all turned around and went back to help him and brought the young boy to his feet so one by one all the athletes they returned and they helped the fallen athlete they returned and they helped the fallen athlete to stand up on his feet then all the nine runners joined hands and continued the 100 yard dash now reduced to a walk and a banner above that said special olympics could not have been more on the mark then all the nine runners joined hands and continued the 100 yard dash now reduced to a walk now see what strange thing happened not only they stopped there and they turned back they made the athlete stand up on his feet but these all nine athletes they joined hands and started to walk they walked to the finishing line all together the 100 meter race was reduced to a walk nobody was running all the nine athletes they joined their hands and started walking towards the finishing line and a banner above that said special olympics could not have been more on the mark now but still this race was special even though all the athletes they started walking together this olympic event was special why because uh, it was a great display of human compassion cooperation and sportsman spirit this is what is very important sportsman spirit so these athletes they had sportsman spirit and the it displayed the human compassion cooperation and sportsman spirit and so this event was very remarkable nothing could have been more special than this what could be more special than this nothing could be more special because here uh, the athletes had shown the values of sportsman spirit of compassion cooperation this is what is needed in today's world that's how the race ended with nine gold medals they came to the finish line holding hand still and a standing ovation and nine beaming faces said more than these words ever will these all nine athletes all uh, nine sportsmen came to the finish line still holding their hands they won the nine gold medals or nine athletes nine medals one medal for each and all these participants they deserved the gold medal because they displayed sportsman spirit and the gold medal was worth so all the athletes they deserved to be given the gold medal and a standing ovation and a nine beaming faces said more than these words ever will the nine sportsmen these nine athletes they stood in a beaming faces beaming means smiling uh, they stood in a smiling faces under the banner 
that declared it as a special olympics so the banner which declared it as a special olympics and uh, all the athletes stood under that banner this smiling faces they touched the heart of everyone because it delivered something special something unique they gave a uh, a great lesson of humanity they showed the special a uh, feeling of greatness they showed a great feeling and they taught a great lesson so this mere poem is not enough to express this it is beyond the words words cannot explain so i hope you have understood the poem now what is the central idea of the poem the central idea of the poem is empathy and sportsman spirit empathy and sportsman spirit now uh, what is empathy empathy is the ability to understand others feelings what other feels when you understand it that is called as empathy so when you understand the others feeling from his point of view is called an empathy it means to put yourself in another's shoes you have to put yourself in others shoes and you have to understand his feelings other people's feeling from their point of view so if you have that ability then it is called as empathy so this is what is shown in this poem nine gold medals now these athletes the other eight athletes understood the feeling of the one athlete who had fallen down so instead of running ahead they returned back to him they made him stand up on his feet and they held hands and then they started to walk so the race was brought to a walk all walked together to the finishing line they realized the anguish they realized the pain and disappointment of the fallen athlete and so they knew what they had to do so it means they showed empathy towards the fallen athlete next uh, theme is sportsmanship or uh, true sportsman spirit so you know that today's world is very competitive everyone competes with other so here the sportsmen are trained to be ruthless in their approach so the only aim is to win at any cost so uh, they don't think what happens to other they don't think about others they just focus on winning the game at any cost so they forget the sportsmanship they forget about um, cooperation and just they focus on winning but here these nine at these eight athletes they forgot about their dream of winning the game instead they show cooperation compassion and sportsman spirit they helped uh, the athlete who needed encouragement they encouraged him and they took him along with them so here they displayed a uh, sportsmanship i hope you have understood the poem and i hope 
you have also learnt the values of compassion, cooperation, sportsmanship. Nowadays, these values are lagging behind. So the poet wants uh, us to inculcate these values within us. In this selfish world, where everyone is competing against one another, this poem conveys a great message to the humanity that the world now needs no more competitions but more cooperation and collaboration. So I hope you have understood the poem, you have learned the values and I am sure you will inculcate these values in your life as well. Thank you.